You've made it to the final maker class. And in this class, we're actually gonna challenge you to design a game for a younger student or a sibling. Here's what we really want you to think about. How might you design a tactile math or literacy game for a younger player? So in this example, Scratch actually shows an equation and shows the answer, but it asks the student, because they're a kindergartner, to touch the number. And this is helping them with number recognition because they're new to that. You're probably wondering where to get started. Well, the first thing you need to do is empathize and define the problem. So you look at how the user, which in our case was kindergartners, how can you help them learn math or literacy? The best way to understand what your user needs is to interview that user or interview an expert of that user. After you've kind of figured out more what your user needs, it's time to start brainstorming and ideating. That means to think about what you want to make. So you should sketch and storyboard your ideas first. Plan your ideas, draw them out, but continue to ask questions and share with the person you're making the game for. Then start prototyping. And by prototyping, it's kind of like a rough draft. So start trying your ideas, test them out, use cardboard, use brass fasteners, and if you can, share your game with the person you're making the game for to see what they're thinking of it so far. In the design world, that's called user testing, and it's really important that the thing you're making works really well for the person you're making it for. And you might see that after they try it, they are still having problems. So you have to reiterate or continue to make new things. You can learn some foundational scratch blocks to make the animation better in your coding. And you might find you have to rework some aspects of your project. Our students noticed that kindergartners were learning their vowels. So they changed the color of the vowels on their literacy games. Once you're finished, it's time to share your project. That means take it back to the user again. Try it out, let them play it, and remember, have fun, and make sure you share what you do with us too, because we want to see the projects you make. If you're just seeing this for the first time, you can find the full guide at makeymakey.com slash how to.